So welcome back to my YouTube channel MS Maths. In this video, we are going to discuss about shifting theorems of the Z-transform. In previous lectures, we have discussed what is the Z-transform, what is the property, what is the it's uh, like uh, how can we solve the questions and all these things we have discussed in our previous videos. You can see that like those videos from our playlist. Link is given in the description box or uh, you can also uh, teach from uh, teach to that by clicking the item. In this particular video, we are going to discuss Z transformations shifting theorems. There are two types of shifting: left shifting and right shifting. Shifting means uh, if I if uh, uh, we just want to calculate the Z transform and we know that the Z transform of uh, Z transform of U n U n is nothing but a discrete function, then it is nothing but summation n equals zero to infinite U n e to the power sorry Z to the power minus n. Okay. Remember one thing here this z and this z. This z is basically the notation. Okay, this is the notation of z transformation, and it is nothing but the complex variable. It is the complex variable. Okay, so uh, like differ these two z's. Okay, or you can write uh, like this term like this also. I, I I will use this this every abbreviation or this notation for this z. Okay, so now. This is the definition and this is general for when we have un function if i just want to calculate uh, like a un plus one or un plus two like something like un plus k so how can we cal 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 calculate the value of the un plus k like its z transform like uh, it it should be there n equals to zero to infinite un plus one z power minus one so what will be the value for this and uh, we will discuss it is nothing but the left shifting and if we want to calculate un minus k it is the right shift okay so basically now let's start the left shifting theorem so firstly we have discussed about left shifting theorem and uh, here like we will discuss uh, z transform basically uh, we will uh, do the proof of this uh, equation also by using this is the definition of the z transform like uh, z un Okay, this is in, in subscript Z un, Z un, it means Z transform of un and a discrete function. We will denote it by using uz. Okay, and it is nothing but summation un, it means function of Z. Okay, un Z bar minus n. Now, like the left shifting is un plus 1, its value is the Z bar k uz. Uz means the, uh, the Z transform of that function and minus u0 minus u1 like whenever we are like uh, like whatever will be the x it is depending on the totally k uh, sorry like whatever will be the k and uh, like uh, uh, like uh, k tends to like uh, 2 3 4 like whatever will be the value so it is depend on the k now what we are going to discuss the proof how can we solve so first of all like if i am going to discuss the z transform of un it is nothing but the summation un z power minus but here we have un is nothing but un plus k. So we can write it is un plus k is equals to summation of un plus k z power minus n. And now I am writing this term as like uh, z un plus k. Okay, this is in subscript un plus k. Z un plus k is equals to I can write okay, it is nothing but 0 to finite is also n zero to infinite okay so now here n equals to zero to infinite u n plus k z bar plus k minus k i can i can write this like this type and also this is written as zero to infinite u n plus k z bar k and z bar minus common n plus k like this and this is free to n and we can take it outside so z un plus k is equals to z par k summation n equals 0 to infinite it is un plus k z par n plus k why we do this basically we will convert z par n into the function of k because there is also k Okay, now we can write this term as like this ZK summation n equals 0 to infinite. 
दिस विल बी द यू एन जेड पार माइनस एन माइनस समीशन एन इक्वल्स जीरो टू के माइनस वन एन इक्वल्स जीरो टू के माइनस वन यू एन जेड पार माइनस एन इफ वी ऑल दिस समीशन when when we solve this summation we will get this thing or like uh, we will get uh, like uh, this okay then we can write this like you can see here if i am putting like 0 z1 z2 and minus this up to k minus 1 okay this is the thing important thing k minus 1 you can also observe that you or you can solve this okay so this will be the will like this will be the basically equals to this term it is the z of u n and now we are going to solve the uh, like for the next term it will be the z par k okay i am writing here z par k into like this totally this is the z transform and like this is the z of u n and we can write u of z here minus if i am putting zero here so it will be the z par zero uh, sorry u par u zero and u zero Or z zero, it means z one. It means totally this this term will be one. And then next, this is u one z par minus one, or u two z par minus two. So, like in this way, this will continue. Or we can say this is the this is nothing but the its value. Okay, this is the value for this. Basically, it is the formula, or it is the basically main. like statement for the left shift now we are going to uh, solve a question so that uh, we can solve okay like before moving the question there is a standard or uh, in particular case we have following standard result like what will be the standard if i am uh, considering z un is nothing but u z then u n plus 1 by left shifting plus 1 so it is nothing but like only like you can see this is the term this is the term and uh, if i am going writing n plus k k is uh, like uh, k is up to 1 so k minus 1 is nothing but 0 okay to so 0 to 0 so it is the you can we can also observe that it is z okay it is z par 1 z par k tha okay then like uh, there was a z par k and it it is nothing but z par 1 now next will be the z square u z okay there are two terms extra for that summation and z par 3 and it is nothing but these are the standard result you can or or you can uh, learn the generalized term and you can also find from that okay now going to question this is the question simple question is here z par uh, like z transformation of u n plus 1 so uh, like before going to this uh, we know that the uh, first of all there is a shifting we can we can see here there is a shifting plus 1 left shifting plus 1 or by solving this question solution we can let or like it is a let un is equals to 1 upon n factorial okay un is n factorial it means uh, we will calculate the z transform for un it is nothing but uh, mission n equals 0 to infinite or un z par minus n it means this will be the summation n equals to 0 to basically n Zero to uh, infinite. Okay, zero to infinite. Infinite series will be there, and it will be the u n is nothing but one upon n factorial or z bar minus. Putting zero here, it will be the one. If I am putting one here, it will be the one or z bar minus. It will be the z bar minus plus. It will be next. Will be the uh, z bar minus two upon two factorial. Okay, like this. now you can consider it is nothing but 1 plus 1 upon z plus 1 upon 2 factorial into z square or we can write like this 1 upon 2 factorial or 1 upon z 1 upon 3 factorial okay z square is z cube so it is like that something like that 1 plus x plus x square upon 2 factorial plus x cube upon 3 factorial it is nothing but e par x or here x is 1 by z it means like uh, if we just calculate the value for this we are going to calculate the value for this it will be the z un is equals to e power 1 by z 
now we just calculate un plus 1 okay this is the, like previous uh, like previous all the condition now left, left shifting theorem starts from here so by using by using left shifting theorem okay by using left shifting theorem so what says the left shifting theorem left shifting theorem says that uh, z un plus 1 1 okay there is a value plus 1 means z or we can use generalized term also z uz minus u0 so it is nothing but z z uz uz is nothing but this okay this is uz minus u0 how can we calculate this whole thing here Okay, how can we calculate the complete thing for from here? Like it will be the uz we have u0. What will be the u0? u0, this is un. Okay, this is un is 1 upon n factorial, and u0 is 1 upon 0 factorial, it is nothing but 1. So that it is the z into e power 1 upon z minus 1. It is the value of z transform of 1 upon n plus 1 factorial. So by this is such a way we can easily calculate the value of the uh, by using left shifting theorem or 1 upon n plus 1 factorial now next we can uh, we will discuss about the next we will discuss the right shifting theorem right shifting theorem is there right shifting theorem says that if you have that a transform of un okay, i think if we have uh, un is u u z then we can easily calculate this is nothing but only right shifting theorem in right, right shifting theorem there is only minus one power k u z okay this is the term only simple thing is here simple value is here okay uh, z power minus k and u z okay like dividing by the z power k only now next this is the question u minus one whole square is there then it is nothing but right shifting Okay, it is the right, right shifting so first of all we are going to discuss uh, like uh, we have to know about that what will be the value of un so un is nothing but we can consider n square and z of n square we have the value or a standard value or we can also like uh, uh, we can also conclude by uh, power n okay we have discussed these all formulas in our previous lecture or like uh, we can easily calculate by using uh, a power n a power n formula is there then n square we can calculate like this i call uh, basically uh, for this we have to go for it for this we have to go for like uh, minus z d by dz z power x this, this is nothing but x power p form okay so p is here too so it is z bar z of uh, z transform this is nothing but z transform okay this is the z transform z transform of x bar p minus 1 so now minus z d by dz so z transform of 1 upon uh so not 1 upon x is nothing but n x n bar p okay n x is n x is n it is nothing but n power p okay and i can write also here n x is n okay n power p means n p means 2 minus 1 here p means 2 minus 1 is 2 minus 1 so it is minus z d by dz z transform of n now we have to calculate the value of z transform d by dz so the z transform of n we can calculate by using this 0 to infinite n z power minus n okay so it is z d by dz so this will be the n n and we can calculate like this dz or n plus 1 okay we can direct substitute here like uh, like this will be calculate like this n equals to 0 to infinite z power uh, like uh, minus 1 plus plus 1 minus 1 okay and n it will be the z outside or like we can easily substitute you have to remember this we have already discussed in the previous video so it will be the z over 
z minus 1 whole square is there a z minus 1 whole square is there and uh, i use by, by solving this we have calculated the derivative it is nothing but minus z okay it will be the z minus 1 cube or like solving this i can write because uh, remember this uh, this theorem or this is a standard you have to also remember this thing this is nothing but z square plus z upon z minus 1 cube okay like this is not the working step of the like right shifting theorem we have we can write also this is directly okay i am just putting the idea how like n square will be calculated now move to the by using right shifting theorem by using right shifting theorem it is it says that uh, like right shifting theorem is nothing but z un minus k it is z power minus k and u of z so it is nothing but 1 upon z or uz we have z square plus z over z plus 1 2 now we can take z common it is nothing but z plus 1 z plus 1 cube or we can cancel this thing that is z plus 1 whole square so this will be the answer for the the this n minus 1 whole square easily we can calculate so i hope uh, you understand the complete concept of the uh, like right shifting theorem or left shifting theorem this is nothing but whole thing so thanks for watching my video keep watching ms maths and for such a video or these types of video you can subscribe the channel you subscribe the channel to support us Thank you. Bye-bye.